some snacks and get comfy because CBBC's got what you need. My Christmas has come early. Thank you, Santa. Awkward. There's laughs. I must be having a nightmare. Singing. A, B, Z. That's good. G. Mystery. Oh, you can't be. And action. Wait, what are you standing there for? This Christmas on BBC iPlayer. Merry Christmas! Oh. Welcome back to CBBC with me, Mac of the Dog, and his very wacky chums. Oh, it was me! Move on! <laughs> <laughs> uh, are you all right there, Hiker? Yeah, I am, yeah. Nice. Well, I'll tell you what, we've got brand new the Beaker Girls here in four minutes. Yes! Yeah. Yeah. Jingo, look who's over there, Cocker. It's only Chai who plays Jordan and the Beaker Girls. Oh, it's, we're proud to have you in. Tash Hag blessed, yeah? Tash Hag blessed. Tash Hag Word. blessed, yeah, indeed. <laughs> and you know what? We're that excited about the Beaker Girls that we've been asking you to send us in your Beaker Besties. Do you both want to hear them? Yeah. yeah. Oh, I love that, yeah. Of beaker course. Besties. Big time. Right now, here we go. We have one from Poor Girl who says, me and my bestie Isla <laughs> met in preschool. In fact, she's coming over on Saturday. Ooh. Have you got any plans with your friends this weekend? Um, this weekend, I think me and my friends are going to go out and eat something. What, so are, you, what are you going to eat? A pizza or a burger or something? <laughs> a burger, actually. We're going to go get burgers. Yum, yum, yum. yum. Living your lovely. best life. <laughs> they do. Burgers are lovely. We've also got one from Minnie, who says, I met my best friend in April. The day we met, we became friends. Ooh. Ooh. Have you ever met anybody and become best friends with them straight away? Apart um, from me. Yes, I think I have. My best friends now. I think I met them and I was like, these are my best friends forever. Instant These all do. Instant best friends. These all do. the feeling. These ones all be all right. I heard the similar thing with Inchi. Yeah, yeah, it's the same with me and Haki. No, hey, I've got one from Shimmering Stripe Tiger. Who says, I have a Polish friend called Laura. Laura. We love Laura. Do you know anybody called Laura Chai? Um, I do not know anyone called Laura. Well, what is the name of your bestest friend on the Beaker Girls? Uh, my bestest friend has to be Montana. She's my bestest, bestest friend. Oh, it's bestest lovely friend. having best friend, yeah. isn't it? <laughs> Any more? I've got another one, Hacker. We have got Cow CBBC lover who says, I met my BFF, Lilia, in year R, and she is the best. Hey, have you got any friends from primary school yes, still I your do. friends to I this have, day? I do. I have a best friend called Jessica from primary school. She was my best friend in primary school. So shout out to you, Jessica. Big up, Jessica. Oh, word. Respect. Big up, yeah. Shout out, yeah. Oh, well, I tell you what, we've just done the big besties. We've got some quizzes. OK. A few Ooh. quizzes. We've got Hi. some quizzes. Right, try it. Are you ready for this? Yes. Yeah, yeah, we've yeah. got one from Panda Fan who says, if you could restart the series, what would you redo? Uh, I feel like I'd have to be more confident. I want to be more confident. Well, you can do that in Series 2, can't yeah, you, Cocker? Yeah, Oops. Series confident. 2 confidence, hashtag confidence is key. And we've also got another question right now from Adam, who says, were you the friend of Justine Littlewood in the series? Uh, yes, I was, but I was also friends with all the characters. So, yeah. Well, let's hope if there's a Series 2, you can be friends with them again. If yeah. it comes back. Because <laughs> it it's back. not confirmed. It's not confirmed if. at all. If, if, if you're friends. We're all friends here, though, but, hey, if you do have any questions for Jordan, a.k.a. Chai, a.k.a. Jordan, in the series, then send it over to the Ask Jordan a question the page on the CBBC website. It's right over there. And also, while you're there, you can send in Beaker Girls, besties, and all that. Beaker besties, all the Beaker besties. <laughs> Beaker best But first, page. Chai. Oh, this is your I'll save you now, Lee. Chai. <laughs> oh, him, What's coming up next? Okay, so we have brand new the Beaker Girls. Remember me and my mum, Tracy Beaker. Come on, come on. And our dog Alfie. Well. This is our new home. Mum was just getting over her breakup with Sean Godfrey. Then my Granny Cam got married to my teacher, Miss Oliver. But now I call her Granny Mary. Uh, anyway, me and Mum decided it was time for us to make a new start. We made new friends too. This is Flo. And this is Flo's shop. The dumping ground. I know, right? We couldn't believe either. Mum used to live in a place that she called the dumping ground. 
We decided the name had to be a lucky sign. And it was. Flo had been ill, and she needed an assistant. All right, Flo? <laughs> Mum said that in a month she'd be promoted to shop manager. It took a week. You know, you two have made so many improvements around here. I was thinking, how about a new name? No! no. Don't you find it old-fashioned? It's retro chic. It's our brand. <laughs> well, you're the manager. <laughs> Mum? Oh, go on. I'll treat us all. Double flake, strawberry sauce, and sprinkles on top for me. Um, Mum, can I get them? OK, I'll come with you. Mum, please, I'll be so careful. Thanks, Flo. OK, but remember, look both, both ways, ways, and if you see if I see a car, I know, Mum, I know. Sometimes I think Mum forgets I'm not a little kid anymore. Thank you. Thank you. I may not be as loud as Mum, but that doesn't mean I'm weak. I'm a beaker girl, and I don't need anyone to protect me. If you have sand in your eyes, don't rub them. Blink. Here, it's water. Wash your eyes and give me your glasses, I'll wipe them. Thank you. Did you know that boy? No. I just stole my ice cream. Brazen child. <laughs> what you said. I'm Jess, by the way. Patience, but you can call me Pesh. Pesh. Yeah, I've seen you around. You love that shop, don't you? Yeah, the dumping ground. We just moved. Sweet. Did you want to go for a walk? She should have been back by now. It's hot. There's probably a queue. Well, if she's in the queue, then she can answer her phone. I knew I should have gone with her. I'm sure she's absolutely fine. Probably just talking to a friend. Who? She doesn't know anyone round here yet. That is why I'm worried about her. So it's just you and your mum? That's your whole family? Well, there's Granny Cam and Granny Carly and Mary, she's my granny too. Three grannies? Oh, well, four if we count Flo. She owns the dumping ground. Oh, and there's Alfie. <laughs> your dog? Yeah. I love dogs. I've got two at home and three horses. Three horses? Are you rich or something? I wish. Nah, just always had horses. Kind of like a family tradition. Oh, I wish we did. Is that your phone? Oh. Yeah. Oh, um... It's OK. It was just an ice cream. That's not the point. You were mugged. And you should never run off after him. You would have done. That's different. I make all the stupid mistakes so you don't have to. Making mistakes is part of growing up. I never said she could grow up. I never gave you permission. Hello? Yeah, you've changed your number. No, now is not a good time. To be honest, it will never be a good time. OK, bye. Mum, who was that? Oh, just one of them scam calls. So what happened to the mugger? Where did he go? I uh, don't know. He, he ran off behind the beach huts. We looked from later, but he'd gone. You know, those beach huts are lovely. Didn't you say you used to have 
one flight? Well, I still have. I just haven't been able to go down there for years. What? You never told us? Where is it? Um, third from the right, as you're looking at the sea. The one with the blue stripes. <laughs> oh, we had some fun in there. <laughs> <laughs> beach parties? Oh, yes. I was queen of the beach in my teeny-weeny bikini. <laughs> 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 well, you know what I say, if you've got it, show it off. <laughs> Can I see the beach up? Please? I think I could dig out the keys. Well, why don't you wait until after lunch and I can go with you? Mum, please, remember what we talked about. Fine, Alfie needs a walk. Why don't you take him with you? Come on, Alfie. Come on, then. Good boy. Yes. I hope you've got your bag, young lady. Bags? It's if your dog does his business just anywhere, it ruins the esplanade for everyone else. Do you understand? It, it's OK. I, I know. I've, I've got bags. Good. Tidy beach. Tidy mind. Off you go. It was definitely him. The ice cream thief. I decided to teach him a lesson. Oi! Give up that! Give up! What are you gonna do? Oh! It's freezing! How old is it? I don't know. Would you get it? The bins. Oh! Doing. I'm I'm so sorry. It was an accident. Don't lie to me. And I don't know what you're laughing at. <laughs> You've got lettuce and tomatoes on your face. Yes, because of you two messing about. Don't touch me. That's assault. Oh, goodness sake, of course I'm not going to touch you, you silly girl. You are a girl. So? Whoever you are, I shall be speaking to your parents about this. <laughs> Good luck. I don't have any. I don't have any. I'll find out who you are. I know everyone in this town, and everyone knows this face. And you? You're just going to leave that litter there, are you? Come on, pick it up. Don't let me catch you again. Come on, Broken and forgotten. But so was the dumping ground when we moved in. If Mum can transform a whole shop, I can transform a beach hut. It look like? I can give you a hand. I'm good, thanks. Hey, let go! I can do it! Thanks. 
Is this your shed? It's my beach hut, yeah. Are you clearing it out? Yeah. Can I help you? Why would you do that? Because I'm nice. If you're nice, then why did you steal my ice cream? I was hungry. Sorry. Is that why you have to take food out of bins? No, I found it on a table outside a cap. Still, you must have been desperate. <laughs> yeah, but you should have seen your face when you thought you ate bin burger. Yeah, hilarious. Are you okay, though? I'm cool. So, am I helping you or what? Come on, then. Nice. So, do you really have no parents? Everyone's got parents. Yeah, but some kids never know their parents. My mum was brought up in care. So? So, were you in care too? That's what they call it, but they're having a laugh. Nobody cares. I was meant to be fostered, but they just threw me out. Again! So, where do you live now? Been sleeping in the bus shelters, benches, under the arches. Wherever you know. What's your name? Jordan Whiteley. I'm just. You should really come and talk to my mum. She'll help. No. You can't tell anyone where I am. But my mum's really... I'm serious. If they catch me, they'll send me to a secure home. They'll lock me up. OK, I, I won't say anything. Good. Let's do this. <laughs> Stay here for a bit. I'd have to check with Mum and Flo. No, you can't tell anyone. If they catch me, they'll send me to a secure home. Why would they do that? It's the care system. You just don't get it. Actually, I do. I told you, my mum was in care. So, I can stay? I don't know. Please, just one night. Please. All right. And it's our secret. Swear on your life. No, 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 your, your mum's life. I'm not doing that. So you're just going to stitch on me? No. So then swear. All right, fine, yeah, I swear. On your mum's life? Whatever, yeah, on my mum's life. One night. One. Thanks, Jess. You're a queen. Got any food? I didn't really trust Jordan. But she must have been desperate to sleep in the bus shelters and steal a month of food. Well, you should have said you were hungry. Uh, I, I didn't want to bother you. It is my job to be bothered. If I'm not feeding you enough, you should just say. Is the cake for table too? Yep, just feed in the bottomless pit first. Uh, Mum, can I have a cake? Uh, you can have fruit. stealing from Mum and Flo, but I found it really hard to say no to Jordan. I couldn't really imagine what she'd been through. You got more? Uh, I told you it was hard enough to get that. So what am I meant to do about blankets? Uh, ah. Uh. 
You can use these. This will do for now. In the morning, you can get me some more blankets and stuff. Uh, this isn't a hotel. We agreed one night. So what am I supposed to do after then? That's not my problem. But if it wasn't my problem, whose problem was it? I think we've got mice in the kitchen. Mice? Mm. Very clean and tidy mice. You only took three cakes, but left all the rest alone. I, I was hungry. Uh, I'm a growing girl. Mm, so you keep saying. Jess, is everything all right? Mm-hmm. You know you can tell me anything, don't you? I, I know, but... What? But I swore on your life. Nothing. Love you. Love you more. Good night. Night. I couldn't sleep. I kept thinking about Jordan, all alone in the beach hut. How would it feel to have nobody to look after you? What made you scream like that? Who are you really speaking to? I just said, Cam. What's the matter? Nothing. Come here. Mum was lying. I could tell. She's an even worse liar than me. To the beach. Sure. We'll go together. We're heading there too. Up, oh, who's we? Oh, Peter said he'll help me pull that junk you cleared out yesterday. From the beach hut? Yeah, of course. Ah, oh, here he is. Hi, Tracy. Hi. Peter's going to be my head teacher. He's also my mum's friend. But right now. Ah, Jess. I had to keep them away from the beach hut. I bought you these. Uh, thank you. You've probably read most of them. Yeah, she's a very advanced reader. I hope your staff are ready to deal with an exceptionally gifted child. Oh, you're so embarrassing. <laughs> See you later. Oh, hang on, we're coming with you. Uh, race you! the door down. Uh, so this is all the stuff I cleared out. Okay, we'll sort that out later. Let's look inside first. Okay. Oh, uh, I'll find the key. I must have left it at the shop. Oh, it's okay. Flo gave me a spare. Uh, Ta da! Let's have a look in here then. Let's see what's inside. Oh, this is so cute. Oh, it's got so much potential. Yeah, it looks structurally sound. Just needs a lick of paint. Uh, actually, yeah, but, um, but yesterday I cleaned up a lot of water and I, I think there's a hole in the roof. Really? I, I can't see anything. Maybe you should take a look at the, uh, at the outside. Good idea. Excuse me. Thank you. Get ready. So this side? Uh, yeah, this side. Right. You can stand on this. Oh, thanks, Jess. 
No problem. Here we go. It's me. Go. Go, go, go. Right, so. Is that anything? You're not coming in here. Why did you bring Shh. them? You need to go. I can't see anything wrong with the roof. Oh, good. Go now. Okay. You see these old uh, base services, they do suffer from osmosis. Oh, that was pretty interesting, thank you. Uh, no leak. Made a mistake, never mind. <laughs> Mum, can I go down to the promenade? Now? I've only just got here. I know, but I, I want to play on the machines. OK, only the kids' games, no gambling. I can't, they weren't there anyway. Good. Make sure you're home in an hour, do not be late, we've got plans. OK, see you later. Bye. Bye. Hey, what was the problem with this? You could have warned me. How? I got you out, didn't I? Did you bring any food? No, but I brought money. How much? Seven pounds eighty. Is that all? We're not rich, you know. These are my life savings. And you're giving it all to me? How sweet. Not exactly. We have to spend this money sensibly. OK. How? Well... Look for the orange stickers. That means reduce. OK? Yeah. About these. Yeah. Do you want white or brown bread? Um, you pick. It's your money. Hey, it's your Jess. I was just shopping for my mum. Same. Don't look now, but that kid who took your ice cream. Oh, that's Jordan. Turns out she's a girl. OK. She's all right, really, once you get to know her. Right, I just need to, um... need to get home. I thought we were friends. Jess, I can't be. But why? I just can't. My mum will kill me if I got mixed up in all that. Mixed up in all what? What are you going on about? She doesn't know, does she? Know what? It's really hot. Why don't you take off your hoodie? I don't want to. See? You little snitch. You big crank. You what? You saw all that stuff. It's not stealing if I'm hungry. Hey! Sorry. I knew it. It's OK. We lost her. We got away with it. What do you mean, we? You've made me into a thief. Now we'll both go to prison. Chill, Jess. No one's getting arrested. You're just a little kid. So you used me? No, I helped you save your money. Just take that stuff back right now. No, I need to eat. That doesn't mean you have to steal. What else do you want me to do? I'm not going back to care. You said you know what it's like. My mum does, and she'd make you take all that stuff back. If you tell anyone about me, you'll be sorry. <laughs> Mum, uh, can I talk to you? Sure, but not right now. 
But why? I... Hey, Vika. Tyrone! Because we've got guests. Hey, Jess. Sean Godfrey at... Uh... Nice to see you. Nice place you got here. I can't believe it. Sean Godfrey in my little shop. <laughs> <laughs> Did you say you and Tracy used to be an item? Yes, they used to be. Why didn't you tell me you were coming? Well, Tyrone wanted to surprise you. Surprise? I've missed you, Beaker. Oh, I miss you too. In a moment, my best friend and my ex almost stepdad are about to walk out of the door and discover my worst ever secret. Are you ready for the adventure of a lifetime? I can't wait! Join Ash and Pikachu as they travel to new worlds. That's the Unova region. Meet new friends. I'm Iris. I want to go on your journey with you. Discover new Pokemon. I want to battle as many new Pokemon as I can. And uncover the mysteries of the Unova region. Let's get down to business. So go catch them all in brand new Pokemon Black and White. You heard what he said, right, Pikachu? Pikachu! Streaming now on BBC iPlayer. CBBC. Oh, how good was that, everybody? Hey, you think that was good? Yeah. It was exciting. Good. Chai, that was your show. Did yeah. you enjoy it? That's crazy. Yeah, I really did enjoy it. Is that the it, first yeah. time you've seen it? That is the first time I've ever seen it, actually. Wow. I'm proud amazing. to know you. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you know what? I can't wait for the next episode. Oh. Well, when is it on? How can we yeah. find out? I'll tell you what, Hacker. Tomorrow at five, you'll be able to see another episode of Brand New The Beaker yeah. Girls, where Jess and Tyrone go for a walk, and Tyrone Ooh. has an idea for Sean to foster. Can we see a clip? Oh, sure. You can foster me. Like, come foster your mum. Tyrone, stop it. You've got a family. You've seen my family. But you must love them, really. Yeah, I must. Because that's like the law. You know who I love? Your family. You and your mum, Alfie, and your grannies. I love you. I love you too. Oh, no, don't do that. Oh, don't do that! What happens next? Chai, what happens next? Uh, I'm not going to find out. You can't watch! You've 